the Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Well, Mr. Speaker, 800,000 children are living in poverty on that record. And when we say it's okay for children to live in poverty, we're putting them on the road to lifelong health problems. We stifle the growth of our children to live healthy lives and reach their full potential. Today, as I said, 800,000 Canadians. Canadian children live in poverty. This is a national shame. When will this government finally take action to help our children grow up into healthy adults? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Human Resources. Well, Mr. Speaker, in fact, our, the child poverty rate in this Canada is less than half what it was under the Liberal government. We're very proud of that. It's thanks in, in to many things that we've done. There's the economic action plan. It has resulted in over 820,000 net new jobs. That helps parents take care of families. Mr. Speaker, the Canada Child Tax Benefit and the Universal Child Care Benefit alone have helped 3.5 million families climb their way out of poverty, not to mention the benefits of the Working Income Tax Benefit. Wow. The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. I tell you, no economic plan can ever be successful when so many kids are left behind. Here, 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 here. One in seven children is living in poverty. This is completely unacceptable and it's a preventable tragedy. We all know what needs to be done, but the Conservatives lack the will to even try. When will this government finally adopt a national strategy to reduce poverty and allow children and their families to live with dignity? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Human Resources. Mr. Speaker, that's what exactly what our goal has been, continues to be. In fact, we've taken action towards it, not just talk about it, we've taken concrete action. We've introduced the universal child care benefit that helps a million and a half families. We introduced the child tax benefit, the child tax credit, the working income tax benefit. All of these have helped lift people out of poverty. In fact, Mr. Speaker, there's 225,000 fewer children living in poverty in this country than under the last year of the Liberals. But sadly, Mr. Speaker, all these things that have helped young people in Canada were voted against by the NDP. member for Toronto Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.